really annoyed right now by the fact that I fixed my game by slowing Hello, down. Hello, ladies and players. gentlemen. I do believe we are live. Welcome to the Hawaiian Island Hopping event for Project right, Mega Pack. We are currently in a channel with around 30 or so people. And today we are going to be flying with them around the Hawaiian Islands. So I do hope you enjoy the stream. All right, thanks, and we'll be getting started in about four minutes. Great turnout today. Seeing everyone rocking the uh, FS2020 liveries. Yeah, I spawned in and I seen nobody. Make sure you're on the uh, West USA servers. Yeah, West US. Game crashed as well. Great. That's uh, a rip. Yeah. You got four minutes. At least I saw land for once, since usually it crashes before I can even see land. Lower your textures. Have you tried uh, uninstalling everything in your community folder? Because that worked for me. It's basically a fresh install. This I like. I reinstalled the game, and it's continued to do this. Oh. All right. There was a bug delivery for me for like the DA40, so I had to uninstall my community folder. Mind you, all of this started as soon as I bought the premium deluxe edition. Like, as soon as I bought that, then I started having issues. Have you tried looking in the content manager? Uh, what do you mean? Like, to make sure everything's installed? Yeah, and up to date, I'm assuming. Yep, did that. That's good. How long is this gonna take, by the way? About an hour, 30 minutes. And, with Sweet. that question, three minutes till the start, so I'll just get started here. Uh. So we're going to be taking off from here, runway 6, which is the runway we're, we're all spawned on. Hopefully every one of you uh, loaded up the flight plan that's going to take us over Hawaii. Should be nice and beautiful. I'm going to need like 30 seconds to get in VR. Take your time. Uh, we, once we hit the waypoint griddle, it's going to be a little boring. We just got to cross between the main island here. Uh, it's going to be a little bit boring. You guys can step away if you want. You know do whatever you need to do but after we get there it's gonna be pretty interesting we're gonna land at uh i believe it's three airports are, are we but, not landing at hnl uh i mean i didn't really find that need to we'll fly right over it anyways so so we're flying over hnl and then what so once we fly over honolulu uh we're gonna be landing at the airport phmk we'll be landing on runway 15 one five or Ryan 5, correction. And then uh, we'll be going down south. We'll be landing at PHNY, landing on runway 21. So once you guys land, just taxi back to like the ramps. No need to shut off or anything like that. Taxi back so we can get like a nice, good, you know, line and orderly departures going out. And then we'll land there. And then we'll go down, down to, uh, I believe it's Alui. PHOG, and then we'll just go down south, fly over the National Radio Astronomy. What's what runway at, at Kahului? Uh, it's gonna be runway five for our arrival, and then we'll land. Can I get at... a radio check? Yeah, I hear you. All loud and clear. And then we'll, we will land our final destination, PHTO. Should take us over some nice landscapes, nice mountains. We're gonna be cruising at 11,500 feet, so if you want, you can set that in your uh, autopilot MCP. I'm gonna do that right now. Uh, hey, uh, can you repeat the altitude real quick? Yeah, it's gonna be 11,500 feet. Got it. And we're gonna try and cruise at around, you know, like 170 knots, 150, somewhere around that range. Then, uh, I think my game just crashed. Fucking it. Um, we will be flying on nav mode. That should, you know, follow the flight plan, obviously. That's what nav mode is. So, there's going to be three lead aircraft. As you know, I hope you all read the brief. Uh, the three lead aircraft uh, me, Clink, and Savage. What speed should we target? We should be targeting one between 150 and 170. That should give us the best speed. Your best, uh, you know, this thing. Cool thing. Uh, I have no idea how to use the autopilot on the caravan. 
Um, <laughs> and I have no idea how to use it in the 350, but I'm trying. Uh, it's I mean, it's just you just gotta put your you know switch the knobs around. Pretty straightforward. Uh, so right, click on the best. So once you do climb out, click on nav mode. Once you once you're on nav mode, it should follow the flight plan. I would just use vertical speed to uh, climb up. And then if you set 11,500 using the altitude knob, then uh, it should level out at 11,500. Just use your throttle manually to uh, hit between 150, 170. Yeah, and a lot of a lot of talking, but we can we can get. Hey, hey, like Leo! Thank you for the donation, my friend. Here. So, much appreciated. Thank you so uh, much. Yeah. Lead aircraft will take off first. Hey, wings. Yeah, Good to see you. Or... Are we ready yeah, to go? Almost. Real. All right. Uh, three lead aircraft are gonna take off my first. My game crashed, so. Oh, there, that's there a rip. Be, uh, if you if you go into the uh, options menu, there should be an option to enable like names on other players. That might be helpful. Yeah, you gotta enable just... all players. No. Yeah, make sure you guys do that. Let's get some hate spots right, go hype in the chat, the please, three, ladies three, and gentlemen. Three, Thank you so uh, much. Clink, uh, Clink, Savage, and I. All right, I'm on the roll. I'm on the roll as well. I guess the rest of you should start rolling. Yep. Yeah, that's a good Fire idea. Off. Can you hear me? Yep. Uh, what I'm just watching the guy who's streaming just have like in three the, collisions. In the settings, how do I turn on player names? Go to uh, go to your general settings. Woo. On traffic. That's a rough right. takeoff. Traffic in there. Real time online. Show traffic nameplates. Okay, thank you. No cross so take off. How do I turn on the autopilot? Um, just click the AP button. It should get you there. Push nav and then AP. Where is the AP button? Yeah, where's the AP button? Uh, right AP above the, the front center console. Yeah, right above Rolling the yaw the yaw damper disconnect button should be there. If you have a keyboard, try pressing Z. Z, okay. Z, thank you. Z happens to be sending me directly into the ground. Z seems yeah. to be working for me. Um. Just know. make sure your autopilot is set up properly. Make sure you have your vertical speed on. Jesus Christ, this formation is so loose. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I have started my I'm passing 2,500. <laughs> I can't disconnect the AP! What's the uh, Xbox ID of one of the lead aircraft? Just so I can uh, spawn on them. Not that guy. N O T T H A A T. Just spawned in now. Oh dear God. Trying to catch up, I guess. All right, yeah. Probably be a good idea if you're trying to catch up to be in like a TBM or something. Yeah. All right, the three lead aircraft are up here. See everyone back there, just... Yeah, any idea when we should start descending? Is there like a top of descent waypoint that we should follow or something? Um, I'll, I'll let you guys know. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be like that, like, hard of a descent, you know? Actually, what in the Actually, for this first leg, we can cruise at like 5,000 feet. Or, let's go to like 7,000 feet for this first leg. Got it. What is going on? Why are you telling me so landing for gear? That just joined or wasn't here for the starting. My gear is up. Landing waypoint or airport's gonna be PHMK. We'll be landing on runway. 
believe it's runway five. Once you do land, just taxi back to the ramps. Uh, don't. I'm having don't some to trouble today, anything. folks. Uh, I'll go ahead and once everyone's down on the ground, I'll announce when we can uh, taxi back to our departure runway, which will be runway two three. Not sure what's going on. Are you guys all no. going uh, Toga right now, or no? No. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, for you guys it might be a good idea. I'm just kind of slowing down here. The King Air is accelerating right. faster than the 208s, I think. Yeah. I was double checking due to the fact that I'm trying to catch up at Toga. Alright, well, I'll catch I'm up having some big here. trouble I'm right now. I have no idea how to change the flight plan, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start and try and catch up. Guys, uh, there's no need to change the flight plan. It's already set up. Okay, I turned on yeah, traffic if main I, if, a lot of you. Yeah, but if I want to spawn on another plane, um, I'm scared I might fuck up the flight plan. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just, is anyone there? Extra. Why is my autopilot trying to send me into the ground? Do you have vertical speed enabled? No, I don't know. <laughs> I, I've never flown in the 350, not one time. VS and V and V are the, vers like, the vertical navigation systems. I would say use, okay, go to vert use vertical speed, where it's, and then where that little, like, dial is where it says down up, that's like a wheel. You go scroll down on it, and it should, uh, you know, raise your vertical speed, and on where it says ALT, there's like a knob there. Set that to 7,000 feet. Boost yeah, but my, uh, my, now. how do I enable the autopilot? Uh, click the AP button. Okay, got lie. it. I hate the texture on aviation autopilot system, it's like the worst. Also, you guys in the beach craft are like cruising way higher than what the two, uh, 208 can do. It's like twice our top speed. Okay, I need to By lower way, my speed. Um, if I'm if I'm in multiplayer, well, wait, can I can I can I be in multiplayer in VR? Has anybody tried that? Because I can't see any of you. And and yes, I'm on the right server. Uh, make sure you know your all players is turned on. Maybe what is happening, traffic, uh, bro? Traffic nameplate turned on. Uh, let me double check. If you look down over the city of Honolulu, you can see kind of like a mating ritual going on between the cruise ships. <laughs> I might be having to fly with generic aircraft on because the game crashed as soon as I got near you. Yeah, it's getting well, all right, so Holy like, fucking okay. Jesus! <sighs> Alright, just is to be a clear, disaster. Land at PH and don't land at Honolulu. We're gonna be doing some ocean crossing here. Down below us, the city of Honolulu. Alright, I finally got it figured oh, out. I'm, I'm hearing a bunch of like warning sounds uh, in my aircraft. <laughs> Probably That's... overspeeds. That's not good. Uh, it's not overspeed. Uh, I'm getting a red AP on my main display. Uh, um, I think that means, that means my okay. auto. Maybe there was yeah. a disconnect on, of the autopilot. My captain, uh... Well, no, because it's it's going continuous. Okay, now how do I lower my speed? What is this Log wind? It. Oh my lord. <laughs> Alright, so if you did not get the memo, we are cruising at 7,000 feet for this first leg. So it, it's just ocean crossing. It shouldn't be that. Shouldn't, we, we shouldn't have any terrain or anything like that. That would be the greatest thing if Microsoft Flight Simulator had the uh, 717s that the Hawaiian Airlines used to do the island hoppings. I love oh, those. Yeah. That'd be fun. 
Okay, how do I set my speed now? So, uh, extra. So, yeah, it's just manual. You just have to, you know, move the throttle around yourself. What do you mean? It says decrease selected speed. That's not working. What's, no, what speed for, are we targeting? That's, your that's for flight level speed. change. That's your flight level change. So, like, that's a flight level change. Or your FLC. So basically, it'll it'll like hold the vertical speed. So like if let's say you spent you set like 170 knots. Oh, I it, see. Okay. It'll pitch up until it holds 170 knots. So that's why it was trying to send me into the ground. That's pretty much it. Okay. All right, I'm on the flight path. I'm approaching Griddle. Am I too far ahead or too far behind? Uh, you're kind of you too are... far ahead. Yeah, you're well, pretty far ahead of us. All right, us. I'm going to slow down to idle. <laughs> to idle? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't slow down to idle because then I start getting landing gear alarms. All right, we'll just slow down there. <laughs> All right, I'm going to I'm gonna disengage autopilot. I'm just going to cut the corner here, see if I can catch up with you guys. Yeah, I see everyone. Where are you at? They're all behind you, Clink. All right, I'm the lead? Okay. Yeah. Um, like uh, my middle. nearest... I, I'm flying over an airport labeled November Papa Sierra. November Papa Sierra. NPS. I just passed the coast of the thing. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm at I'm, Griddle. I'm... Yes, I'm approaching Griddle right now. Okay. Yeah, you guys oh, I here. see you all! That's cool! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I barely have time to fly because I'm always making liveries in airplanes, so... So, Link, how many liveries have you actually made? No, none, but making the packs is what I meant. Oh, okay, I was just curious. Yeah. So, if it does tell you once you cross the waypoint griddle, when, maybe when you're about, let's say like, uh, uh, let's see here, let's say like nine miles from the airport, uh, you can just start it, start descending, if you're at 7,000 feet, just start descending nine miles from the airport, so then, uh, you can, we can have a pretty good, we should have a fine, fine approach. Where are we landing? PHMK? I, I, I wonder if I can, I wonder if I can chuck on slew mode. Hold on. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Right. MK. Hey, do you know, is there a way to get this thing, this center map in my 350 to auto-follow me? Because right now uh, it's like a... Press the plane a... icon. Yeah, click the plane the icon. Plane icon. Top right. Top right. Of the screen. Boom. Got it. Can Not I zoom one. out? Oh, Not zoom out. One. Below that, that's All right. the wall, yeah. And just All right, to cool. Got it. give a heads up to you guys, we are, we'll, we'll be landing on runway 2, or runway 5. At PHMK. What was the runway five. speed? Runway 5. Uh, I'm at 186, but you guys are all behind me. I'm doing 160 knots. 159. Yeah. I can't slow down any more than this. My engines are at minimum. Hello, everyone. Oh. Try dropping your try flaps lowering. in gears. There's like 50. I'm going 170. Try lowering your uh, prop RPM control. That should help. Oh, prop RPM. Okay, what is that? Your prop RPM. Uh, Alright, <sighs> that's cool. Propeller speed, basically, how many times it rotates per minute. Rotation, ro uh, revolutions per minute, RPM. Alright, that sounds it's cool. The, it's the blue, blue, uh, thing. The blue thingy, your... okay. Yeah, the, the blue thing in my got bubble it. is Scooby McDuber, you pull it back and it does the Scooby thing. Scooby McDuber, I got it. Not the mixture. No, mixture <laughs> I leave at 100 or what? Yeah. Uh, you Unless you have like, a really high altitude, you would lean it out just a little bit, but... I see a lot of names. <laughs> That's a lot of people. And then check check screenshots. And then check the screenshots channel just to see them all stacked. <laughs> So when should I start descending? I'm gonna start descending. Uh, so on your yeah, primary yeah. flight display, it should say waypoint PHMK, and then on the right side it should say uh, distance. So once you're like nine miles from the airport, I would say, or actually let's do like twelve miles from the airport. Uh, start descending. Where does it say that? So I hope everyone caught that. Twelve miles from PHMK. Uh, start descending down to like. 
1,500 feet, maybe. I don't even know how to descend. <laughs> I would just turn off autopilot and do it yourself, then. Oh, somebody's right next to me. <clears throat> oh my god, uh, Penny, you're just, like, right on top of me. Alright, so because I want to catch up, I'm just using the longitude, and then I will change. You can just use time acceleration to catch up with people. Yeah, you could just use slew mode, but... I mean, if you guys want to, you guys can, like, slew up closer to us. That should... Be an issue. Yeah, but slowing is not fun. As I say that, Megazord. <laughs> Here comes one guy. Zegric, you might wanna you might wanna stop slewing there. <laughs> oh jeez, everyone just slewed up, alright. Here comes Sorry to be a pain in the ass, what altitude? Is it seven thousand? One thousand five hundred feet. Or 7,000 feet. Oh, Alright guys, just, all right, guys, just remember, you might want to start descending down to like, uh, may, like down, descend down to like uh, 2,500 feet for now. For everyone, not not for the people behind, for the people that are approaching the island right now, descend down to 2,500 feet. Alright, I'm descending. I should just fly in an A320, it'd be much easier. I'm just gonna idle the throttles and descend. Landing gear. 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 I love sticking my head outside the aircraft, mid-flight. Sounds like a horrible idea. I'm doing man in VR. Alright. Alright guys, just remember runway 5, okay? Runway 5. <sighs> You're telling me I'm supposed oh, to look at the numbers? Alright, you know what? It doesn't matter. Just land on any runway. <laughs> 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 It's gonna be kind of hard to tell which runway is which, so just land on any runway you feel comfortable with, and we'll try and take off from the same r same runway. Hey, uh, if you if you really want to land on runway five, open the VFR map by pressing V, and you can zoom in barely enough to kind of see the runway markings. So, okay, so runway five is basically, it's like dia it's diagonal. It's not directly north south. It's diagonal. Question, why is it that uh, the autopilot system adjusts for crosswinds by banking the plane? Alright, we're Welcome friggin' to taking to manual to control to here. Hey, you guys hmm, in the back Why am I there. overspeeding? It might be because I'm trying to go... Now, where's the freaking airport? Uh, 3,000 feet. VNE. VNE. Hey, everyone where's in the VNA? back there, like that big cluster Can't in figure the back. This freaking thing that's out. like near the main island. If you guys want to, you guys can slew. That's like not... It's not a big issue. Yeah, if you guys want to go catch up. I'm gonna land anyway. <laughs> I can't even find the airport. Should be at our 12 o'clock. I'm assuming the 208 doesn't have ILS or anything, right? Even if it does, I wouldn't try it. <laughs> I don't think it does, though. Yeah, well, it might make it easier. Just go on the VFR map. There's a bunch of waypoints going into runway 05. It's like yeah. Zoot, Zootar, Wubal, DME2, DME1, and KK can kind of help you line up, I'm guessing. Alright, I, I got the we, airport in sight. Yeah, it's gonna be right before this like big mountain in front of us. Oh 
why this thing won't shut up about the landing gear. Why is it that with the longest gears, if you go too fast, landing you gear, to lift, landing lift. gear. Oh, I got to shut up. Okay, cool. I think you just have to, uh, like a landing gear horn silence button. Just gotta press that. One of the reasons why I like the 208 so much. Lima Alpha 14, just going in for a massive vertical dive. Saw that one, buddy. I'm going to be first on the ground, so I will watch all your landings. That's red. I'm yeah, trying so. to pull up, but this thing won't pull up. Whoop, whoop, pull up. That <laughs> exactly was surprising the accurate. Running. Basically, what you guys can do if you want to, you can uh, taxi back to the ramps and just wait there until everyone gets here, because it's going to be a little little while till everyone gets here. So there we go. It's finally pulling up somewhere. This is Clink Airways Flight 1542. We are on final approach into Molokai. Over. Do you copy? Thank you for increasing my immersion, Dead guys. Silence. <laughs> I'm concentrating on my own issues. <laughs> I don't think landing gear is a big problem right now, game. Landing gear. Landing gear. Man, it is windy. Can you tell me I don't have priority to override the push to talk? What the hell is this clank? Nobody does. Wow. I've got a fucking... Uh, what is that? Jesus Christ. Like, tune into oh, my geez, stream quickly there. and you'll see that I've pulled the yoke all the way back, yet I'm just level flying right now. Oh, is your auto pilot's turn? Nope. Then maybe your AI control's turn? Alright, I'm on the ground. Yeah, I don't know. I was having that same issue too with my joystick. Like, I was going full right deflection, but the yoke wouldn't your turn right. Down. Look at these guys landing behind me, that's epic. I'm coming way too high, way too fast. Your full trim down, that's one. Oh, somebody's off the runway. How do I trim up? Alright, fuck it, I'm turning up the stupid autopilot. Uh, it's whatever your trim button is, you should have a trim button set at all times. Go to the keyboard and go uh, search uh, nose up, I think, trim. Search by name. I Number never one. put the trim down. It, it'll be trim number one. Take take off take off was completely fine though. It's like midway through the flight, this side no way to pull up anymore. Yeah, the uh the citation is a little fucking weird. What the fuck? I just looked down and I realized I was I I've been idle this entire time, but somehow <laughs> my plane has managed to stay in oh, the Oh this air. is great. Hey PC, welcome to the stream. Yeah, I West have USA, a issue Chris. About the tr uh, elevated trim up. I don't have a numpad. Oh lord. I bought this keyboard without realizing it didn't have a numpad, so... How do I disable the fucking... How do I disable the fucking autopilot? Because all I'm getting is beeping... Oh, and there we have an A320. That's right. Oh, it's an A321! Ha <laughs> ha, I love it! Your spoilers didn't retract yet. You want to retract those because auto retract's not working. Right, I should have flown that thing. Welcome to. Um, if if there is a red hill in VC, um, you've flown past me twice. Uh, yeah, I I know that. 
Uh, it's because I was in the pause menu for a little bit, trying to find some control buttons about with the trim. I think next time we do this, we need to have a ground controller. Yeah. They would just commit suicide at, <laughs> at this point. <laughs> the amount of planes we have. No, this is great. This okay, is awesome. I'll be honest. I cannot, I cannot see the aircraft because all I can see is fucking nameplates. I have those turned off. What runway are we departing from, extra? We'll be departing runway 17. Where is that? Uh, it's on like this side over here, on your, off your right wing. Is the current ICAO? Simba is it the one we landed right on? Wing. No, 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 no. I like being a little bit right wing, you know what I mean? Is it the one down the other end behind me now? Uh, where? No, no, no. So it's on off oh. your right where I am. Off my right. Where not that guy is. Where you are. Monster, I see you're going in awfully quick. <laughs> We're doing donuts on the runway now. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be landing <laughs> quick. Okay, okay. There's no way for me to slow down while I'm stalling. Drop all the flap. Okay, one they seven. This one over here. I got it. All right, I'm coming there now at Toga Power. Is there oh a God, taxiway? What's the current? I see you. PHMK Molokai. Alright. Alright, this is, right, this is going pretty good, something. actually. Everyone just wants to line up on runway one seven. Just wait. Well, I'll, I guess I can we'll... hear a faint jet engine sound, but I don't know where it's coming from. And Me. I know it's certainly coming from <laughs> my <laughs> aircraft. It's an A three twenty one that's with us. <laughs> I'm still in the air, so. Hey, don't guys, don't take off just yet. We'll just wait for a little bit and. <laughs> Look at the A three twenty one. <laughs> oh my god, I need a screenshot of this. Come here. Come here. I bounced twice. Oh, is that the DHL right there? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, there's a 787 landing. Oh no, it's an A320. <laughs> oh my lord. Are we taking off extra? No, this not, not, yet, guys. not yet. Not yet, okay. Yeah, guys. I've overrun, I've overrun slightly. That was fucking butter, Red Hill. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm still right, on the no thing wants to pull right, up, so but it's next... pulling down. Don't Thank go anywhere, don't go anywhere. I'm coming in for landing, I'm coming in for landing now, don't go anywhere. Okay. I've hit a house. I'm on like a five mile final. You're gonna have to slow. Everybody's here. Alright guys, so the yeah, next well, airport we're going you're to gonna need is... To... The next airport we're going to is PHNY. Uh, we're, we're gonna be landing on, let's see here, we're gonna be landing on runway 2-1, uh, we'll stop there, get some, wait everybody to land. Can we get lunch so, when we're there? Yeah, yeah, we should probably get some good lunch over there. Alright. Pretty hungry as well, um, then should be a pretty short hop, maybe like 10 minutes max, 5 minutes max, should be fun. Apparently, there's also an A330 here with us. It's pretty much direct south. Um, I'll go ahead. I'm gonna start my takeoff roll. I'll, uh, I'll, so I'll go first. Then everyone can just, you know, sort of follow behind me. Uh, yeah, I'm not in an A330. This is supposed. To, this is a uh, longitude. I might. I'm probably gonna change it now. Let's do this thing, boys. Yeah, Yeehaw! I think this runway is a little bit too short. Ah. Uh. Just saw some of the most heavy rotations I've ever seen. 
What else, dude? I am currently in the forest. Luke, I was right. my take on. Uh, I just saw someone <laughs> do a uh, barrel roll and eat shit. I think for this one, we might want to go up to like, I think 7,000 feet. Steep climbs, drops. This is not pulling off and pissing the forest. There we go. Oh, this is beautiful. Great turnout to this event, guys. Thank you. It's like a bunch of bees. <laughs> All right, I'm. We doing so I'm out. I'm good. I uh, my feather was still on 35 percent, so I flew through the forest for about a mile, but then I got out. Oh my god! Look at the All sky. Right, I'm up. I'm hey, we got a sub. 2,700 right now. Oh, we had a fire. All right, no fire. We're good. Oh, we got another sub. Thank you so much for Damn the sub. Much appreciated. Run. This got to be a Big operation. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again for the sub. We got a lot of subs. West Thank you so much. West USA. Okay. So, do you guys have any ideas for what our next event should be? Something where we're in commercial jets that I know how to fly. <laughs> yeah, that that would be quite like the A320. And this is going to be heresy to some of you, is nice to fly. Yeah, that's true. I we should all fly A321s in the next event. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Japan. What what flight level do you want to set? Just, I think, just like, climb to like 5,000, 6,000 feet, it should be more than enough. It's like a super short hop. Alright, 2,000 it is. Like okay, how we just we went to that airport and didn't even go to the ramp to like refuel or anything and then we just took off again. <laughs> it's fine. Nah, I think you just didn't see it. Yeah, I refueled. Right. What are you talking about? Damn, my fuel's at 39%. How old do you think formation of flight's gonna go? Oh. Terribly wrong. Try bush flying in Alaska next time. That'd be fun. Yeah, but, yeah, but the issue is fly by where I just did that event. They did bush flying in Alaska, so I don't think it would oh. mesh kind of well. Seem like we're copying, so. I mean, we wouldn't be copying if we were trying to like the Vauxhall A380 though. That's, that, that is oh, true. Maybe we, can, maybe we can do like some bush flying somewhere else. All right, we just have to. Jesus Christ, I just realized that uh, 4,000 feet and I still didn't retract my flaps. <laughs> I took off third and now I'm like the last but one person. Nice. Oh my god, I don't have nameplates on and y'all all just spawned in. And it's just a. Looks like dragonflies. Or not dragonflies, uh. Light bugs from the distance. Yeah, all right. I'm. I've already started my descent into the airport. I'm only like, like nine miles away, nine and a half. So for this one, I don't think there's a very big ramp. So we'll just taxi to the opposite side of the runway. You'll you'll find me. I think I'll be the first or second to land. Just so just come where we're parked, and you know, we'll take off again. Hey, if you watch my screen, I see a AD. Looks like a. <laughs> it's a jet just going vertical. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh my. What, what is. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's all. It's hard stalling. Uh oh. Uh, he's so, what out. island is this that we're landing on? Do you know? Can you point out some nice sights and attractions for us? It's... Oh, I see him now. Jesus, how do I miss that? Here he goes. Oh, is he oh. gonna miss it? Oh, he hit the water. He's above the water for me. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> the airport we're landing at, it has one runway. The island, it's pretty small. Or, it's pretty big. has a good, good terrain. It's pretty brown, pretty green too. What's it called? 
pretty brown, pretty green. Pretty, pretty brown. Almost like it's a green, uh, rainforest. Almost, yeah. Oh, it's Lanai. I'm gonna act like I know exactly where that is, but yes. That's the name of the island. You should have done your research. Oh, yeah. Alright. Yeah, we're landing on P H N Y. Oops, sorry. Clink's almost there, and I'm still at 6,000 feet crossing the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get here first so I can watch all your cool landings. I'm on base turn to the airport. Really short base. I don't even see the runway. Oh, there it is. Okay, copy. Man, I just love Hawaiian Airlines 717s so much. Can I like hopping into can I get the music boss in? Uh-uh. I'll get demonetized. Right. Actually, how about we do island hopping in like the Caribbeans for the next event? A, uh, like, oh. a, uh, Saint Bartholomew, I think? Yeah. Saint Bartholomew. <laughs> Not the short one. Yeah, this is uh, Captain Clink. One, two, three. Uh, we are on final into Lanai Airport. Over. Do you copy, Roger? Please. Didn't realize we were flying in Texas. Yeah, this is a Texan pilot. That's right. Oh, I can take. Oh, I might want to take off. Uh, Drug <laughs> runs in South America. <laughs> We're gonna engage reverse thrust in the air. That doesn't look like a stable approach to me. It's stable, don't you worry. Hi. Alright, I have- I landed. I am- I'm on the ground, over. Yeah, there's a- Large airliner about to ram the ground. It is ram the ground. Alright, I'm waiting for everyone else to land. Whoever okay. sharp shot is, is uh. crashed. I mean, you could go back to the ramp. I'm just on the takeoff runway here. I'm just gonna take here. Jeez, this <laughs> have slow down, dude. Damn. <laughs> uh, does anybody hear me? Yep, loud and clear. Uh, Alright, I'm here to watch all your landings now. Yep. Either you guys. Well, can... uh. Well, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator's not letting me get in, so. I think I landed so hard the livery got compressed. Oh no, we're good. The mouth. I'm on the, if you guys, I mean, if you want, you can taxi back to the ramps, but I'm, I didn't, I just, uh, I just took, I, I just flipped, I just went to the end of the runway and flipped it around, because we're going to be taking off on this runway, so. We should all line up on the edge of the runway, you know, like World War Two. <laughs> but it's, oh, there's the A321. Alright, little bounce, Ryanair, that's okay, did fine. Okay, multiple bounces. So it says here you're, um, it's recommended to fly a Cessna 208. Is it also, is it okay to fly like a jet? Oh yeah, I want 747s here. No, you, you should fly the 208, but there's some trolls. Alright, thanks. Oh, Alright, there's some trolls. It don't matter. I just overran. We're just having fun. Over accident, you just, you know, start up reverses during mid flight. Bonjour, people. Managed to have my game crash because I wanted to have GPS tracking on the uh, VFR map. Game is flawless. Beautiful landings, folks. I'm watching y'all come in. Oh man, that like approach okay. is as busy as like LaGuardia's. <laughs> Nice Mokulele livery there. He's overrunning the runway. 
And we have multiple rams. And that Cessna 208 just had a baby. Be a good place to farm weed, am I? There were seven earlier. This is great. It's like, uh, CFW, CFU is the back of the pack. Once he touches down, we can, uh, flip around and start the takeoff roll again. So, oh. yeah, I'm gonna rejoin. Yeah, go for I'm it. Rejoin my... 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 Alright, so once we do land, so once ever once we start our takeoff call, we're going to PHOG, it's Kalui Island. We're gonna be landing on runway uh, here. We're gonna be landing on runway two at Kalui. We'll be table we can just roll on uh, we can just roll all the way down to the end of the runway and we'll take off again on runway two zero. Sick then. That should be it, and we will, you know, we'll just follow down, we'll fly over the National Radio Observatory, and we'll touch down at PHTO. That PHTO is our final destination. Should we take, should we take off? Yeah, we can, uh, we can start our takeoff roll, guys. Alright, I'm on the roll. Yep. What is your, uh... Had a wing strike there. Man, Kingers accelerate so slow. Yeah, they do. Cane crashed. I feel you. So if you guys just like look at your VFR map, that should have the route in it. You know, you can just follow it. it should take us all the way up to a uh, Kalu. The A321 up there, oh my lord. The map looks magnificent. Yeah. It's bad to say map mythic. Map. Blah. Mess it up. Map mythic. Make sure y'all climb fast because there's a mountain in front of us. Hey, yeah, just trying to hit the mountain. That would be. Pretty bad. Multiple fatalities on the Hawaiian Islands. Thing. Imagine if we, if someone did this in real life. That'd be crazy. Grab a bunch of planes. And I just barely cleared it. Like what plane are you in? Two oh eight. Uh, sorry. Uh, fire three fifty I. So if you look straight ahead once you cross this big mountain here, if you look straight ahead, that's a, a mountain of uh, the mountain, or a volcano, my bad. Volcano. Lo loading in, in the uh, airport ahead, you guys. Now we're flying to Kahilui, Maui. Yeah. Is that right? Uh, yeah, it is. Man, we gotta really get over these mountains, huh? Yeah. You guys might want to climb a little, maybe like 10,000, no, not 10,000, like 
8,000 feet might be good. Yeah, I go up there. Airport. Uh, A321, I think you got your flaps out. That's a bit horrifying looking. Just for reference, if I want to spawn at an airport now, late, where am I going to spawn? Kai Hilui. The IK. P H O G. P H O G, copy, thanks. By the way, there's like a small gap in between the mountains, and when I spawned in, all I could just see is just a bunch of names in that small triangle. <laughs> it looks slightly like a hot menacing, just seeing a bunch of names coming over the hills. Come on, this thing's fighting me. Relax, relax. Come on. Stop! Why did it trim me down full like that? Alright, just relax. Oof. This one, this, uh, when you when you approach the island of Kalui, this uh, little mountain or whatever, this is beautiful. It's like a it's like a volcano or I don't know what it is. But it's beautiful. It most likely is a volcano since all the islands are made from the volcanoes. True. Yeah, it's a volcano. Or the remnants of one. Uh, why don't we have the flight path go through kind of like the in the middle of two mountains so we don't have to have to fly over this mountain? Oh no, it does. It goes pretty much like right in between the mountain. See, if you look at my stream, I can see you all coming through that. Yeah, me and Savage. Looks like we already have a few people there at Kalui. How steep is the descent gonna be? Um, I mean, you have to get down to like, it's pretty much sea level, the airport, so. Some slewing action to catch up. Now we approach Mega 123. Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace. Mega 123, now we approach. Damn, is it just me or does the mountains look pretty deformed? Yeah, it is. Mine look good. I mean, they're all cut up, but they look good. I have Bing data on. Uh, they look kind of weird, though. I'm guessing that's probably what they look like in real life as well, but... You're gonna have to descend at like 3,000 feet a minute. Maybe four. I'm guessing we're taking off runway 20. Uh, we're gonna land... On, at Kalui, we're landing on... You can land on either runway 5 or runway 2. Here. 
Runway 5 or Runway 2, but we're gonna be taking off on Runway 2-0. Yep, what I thought. Just weighing on it now. I think I'm in the airport. No, nope, but I'm on approach. Way too high. I just found them on the mountain. Like, getting on it. Way too high, Clink, is an understatement and a half. We'll make it. Them descending at 3,000 feet per minute is not fun at all. There we go. Now I'm on the stable approach. You can watch my live stream. Butter it, Clink. We're gonna. Watch, right in the white. Right in the white. Alright, a little bit over. Parking brake set. Hello there, not that guy. That's me. I'm descending at 4,000 feet per minute at this point. It's just kind of dive bombing. Alright, so once you guys do land, uh, this lineup on runway 2-0 for takeoff. That looks like an airliner. Or to reverse thrust to slow me down in midair. That the A321 is actually coming up in game. Also, I just I think I had yeah, there's an airliner going through us. Yeah. <laughs> easy jet it seems. Yeah, easy jet heading right for you guys. Guys, after this, it's just gonna be one long, you know, like 10 15 minutes down to PHTO. We'll cruise at like 11,000 feet, 11,500 feet, perhaps. That should get us uh, over the mountains. We can see the uh, the handmade observatories and whatnot, which would be pretty cool. EasyJet is on the grass, it seems. Should I try landing on the caravan at one? Deploying thrust reversers midair. Yeah, I think I broke my engine by reverse thrusting in midair. Doesn't make right. me. I'm just thing at 4,000 feet per minute, but. That's why speed brakes are a thing if you have them. Nope, not on the joy. Doesn't A321 in me help? Transsexual. Erling, yeah, you can join. U.S. West, we're at Kahilui. P-H-O-G, we're going to Hilo next. Are you going to make it? I just uh, clipped through the tail of an A320. This is beautiful, watching all these landings come in. I hope y'all are enjoying. Awesome. All right, Yard, we'll see you here. Honestly, we should just have a landing competition for the next event. <laughs> That'd be fun. Yeah. Honestly, I kind of miss the multiplayer from FSX. Uh, Unicom's still a thing. You're the next one to me? <laughs> All right, California, that's awesome.
There's actually going to be a new landing challenge from FSXCC, renamed, rebranded uh, on January, something like that. Hey, everyone that's lined up on runway, runway 5, uh, if you guys want to taxi back to runway, uh, if you guys want to taxi to runway 20, that would be pretty good, because that's where we're going to take off from. So everyone like, you know, Clank, Savage, uh, who's the other guy here? Oh. Yeah, where are we supposed yeah, to go? Uh, just taxi to runway 20. That's where we're gonna take off from. Where that A321 is? No, no, no. Uh, or I don't know which one's A321. I haven't have downloaded, but it's off your. Uh, it's uh, on your left wing. Off your left wing. We don't even have time to grab some lunch. It's where, like, I'm. It's yeah, can I we get some. Some macadamia nuts and some banana bread and things while we're here. Is that allowed? Yeah, on board, on board meal service. I feel really sorry for this guy. Uh, he finally took off, but we just like nah. Uh, on board meal service today uh, includes some uh, some drinks, multiple drinks. The service on board this thing. Oh my God, Daniel Wilson is going vertical in his <laughs> uh, generic model for me because I don't have that plane downloaded. My engines just died. What's I'm the guessing new airport code? We're going to PHTO. I can't see you for some reason. And finally, I'm going to be actually be able to do a takeoff with you guys without crashing properly. Like crashing the plane or crashing the game. Alright, I think we can uh, take off now. Pretty much everyone's here. Also, who's dragging their tail along the ground? Alright, I started my takeoff roll. Me too. There's the A321. Wait, are you on uh, all layers or live layers? All players. This thing yeah, takes a I long wonder. time to get off the ground. Wonder what that A321, I mean A320 is, because it's a, just a generic model for me. And there's a. I think I'm just gonna down my RAM speeds again. Uh, I'll I'll be back. Right, I'm on autopilot. I'm going to that place. I'm on nav mode as well, so it should take me right there. So again, 11,500 feet. Increasing. Yeah, I got my autopilot enabled. get us over the mountains because we're gonna fly right over a hill where the observatories are so all right so at we're we're gonna be landing on runway uh we're gonna be landing on runway eight that's gonna be the final final airport I just crashed. I should have turned crash settings off. Yeah, that was Yeah. Cool. That was yeah. Cool. Damn, the two of kind of drinks new fuel pretty fast. On the last leg, I got 75%, something like that, I believe. Now it's like 50%. Yeah. Yeah, I started at 80, I'm at 58 now.
that A320 is not alright. What is ITT? It's your temperature. Oh, I'm. My engines are pretty much blown up. Unresponsive the engines are in the uh, King Air. Yeah, this thing is not that fun to fly, to be honest. Yeah. The King Air. What's your guys' favorite Fortnite loadout? Scar. Damn. I haven't played well over a year to be honest, so don't know. I haven't played it in like four years. Was it even out four years ago? Last time I played it was high school, which was three, was four it years ago. Out like four, three years ago. I I used to enjoy it, not too much anymore. Just like the community and the game changed too much. I think it's more the community than the game. What's the, uh, landing airport code? The HTO. Um, in my opinion, it has a bit of, um, kind of like a GCA issue, where they just started introducing more and more stuff. Unfortunately, they removed some other stuff, but it just, in my opinion, just changed the game way, way too much. Changed the landscape too much. Like, it's good to change it occasionally, but not until it's unrecognizable. Yeah, that's right. I never really was good at that game anyway. Alright, I'm about to level up to 11,500 I'm done with this, I have to figure out what's going on with my joystick. I don't know. Gotta find stuff to grab cool stuff or something. Not gonna lie, I kinda feel bad for my plane. It's been running on full firewall for like this whole flight. Yeah, same. Punching it. <laughs> I just see planes going left and right trying to get up this mountain. <laughs> I barely cleared it, nearly stalled at the top, and was on full th full throttle with two engines. Good luck, Sesta 208s. Good luck. And you have to climb even more, so don't stop climbing, because we're going to go over the top of the mountain on uh, the big island. Yeah, I would actually suggest climbing up to like, like 15,000 feet probably. And by the way, that mountain you're passing over, uh, there's an observatory at the top you can see as well. That mountain happens to be, apparently from what I've been told, the highest mountain um, vertical rise from sea level in the world. So Mount Everest is high, 
is the highest in the world from sea level. But it's already high up in the Himalayas. This mountain, if you were to look at it from the sea floor, would be the highest. Quite so interesting. So basically, the tip is the tallest in the world, but sea level to tip, uh, Mount Everest is the tallest. Yeah, pretty sure. That's what I meant. Whoever's bell horning I'm here, good luck. Just stalling it out. If you're watching my stream, that's me. I keep stalling. <laughs> We're landing Honolulu, aren't we? No, Hilo. Honolulu, we, we passed over. That was the where Even we started. An airline is a land there. On at Hilo, <laughs> should be. Kona's no, we longer. Just to landing with a seven eight seven. Haven't landed it properly yet. Oh no. See how well that goes. Maintenance when I'm once I'm done with it. Yeah, out of context. Why does every place yeah, in Hawaii oh. hate? You stalled into the mountain in your SR-22, oh no! Somebody in my stream chat just said I stalled into the mountain on my SR-22. Did you? Someone in my stream chat did. Rip in the chat. Yeah, let's get an F in the chat. Gonna try and land 26 left. I think we're gonna hold 26. How far are you guys from um, Hilo? I don't know. I'm holding for quite a long time right now. The Mount Achaia, yep. Absolutely, Jacob. I've been up there too. It was amazing. That's my lips and the line that is going behind every uh, behind the thing. Not that guy. Yeah, it looks great. I think we lost about half of the people hitting that mountain. They're going. I can see loads of people just going around the entire island. And of course, that's AI. That actually might be AI. It is AI. Ignore anything I said beforehand. Will do. Quick question, Clay. 
Why did you decide to have that um, that logo as your profile picture? What logo? The C, the letter C with like a eagle over it. I made that. That's my logo. Oh, okay then. You don't like it? I'm just curious. That's all. And yeah, it's quite nice. Well, the it actually has a lot of symbolism in it. The eagle is like the symbol of America, and I like America. <laughs> But, more importantly, my channel used to be wargaming based, and if you look closely, um, in the eagle's talons, um, famously, there in one talon there's a, an olive branch, and in one there's arrows, right, for peace and war. And um, the olive branch is hidden behind the sea, whereas the arrows are not. And that's kind of to symbolize the wargaming focus of the channel. And I also just think it looks nice. Yeah. That's pretty cool, but I don't think 15,000 feet is enough to clear this hill. Well, on my autopilot, it says it is, so I don't know. I'm at 14,000. It looks like I'm going to clear it, but we'll see. It does look like I'm going to fly straight into it. I'm going to climb up here. Maybe like 20,000 feet. Okay. Look how pretty that is. Look down at the island. Wow. Seven eight seven at Hilo, watch out or I'm watching. frames per second right now. It's just sad. Apparently it's on it's uh, stormy on the other side of Hilo. Alright, I'm gonna level off at like eighteen five and that's good. Mic check. Mic check. Hello, we can hear you. Alright, I'm at 20,000. 600. I just figured out that I was on low power mode, so I was getting like 7 frames per second. I'm right around where you are in the game and I'm not seeing you. So where 
Where are you all at? I just need to know your game settings, Clink. Where's everybody at? I'm flying over the observatory. I'm about to. Well, I am far behind you. So where are you at? It's in the settings, Ben X. I'm climbing above Papa Hotel Mike Uniform. Alright, I am... Turn here. I just crossed the National Radio Observatory. Am I California? That's great. I have all players, all players enabled. What a nice looking volcano. You can see there's all little offshoots, little mini volcanoes around it. See those? That one? Nah, had like a mini volcanic eruption or something a few years ago. I'm pretty sure they had to evacuate a bunch of people. Yeah. Oh, there's the observatory. How cool. Are we flying above right now? This is the island of Hawaii. The big island. Alright, I touched down. I'm just gonna shut her down here and watch the landing scene. I had an alarm going off in my 787, and now it stops. It sounded like an overspeed alarm, but it wasn't overspeeding. Was it a click, 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 click? No, it was not the stall warning. It was like, Don't know. Uh, high, low, high, low, high, low, over and over. That's the AP disconnect. No, but it was like continuous, not just uh, once. Yeah, I'm pretty sure on some aircrafts you have to like manually press the acknowledge button or it won't stop going off. Are you talking about the 737? 
I was talking about the 787, and also I didn't have autopilot on in the first place, so for it to turn, uh, for it to turn off. Oh, maybe the terrain. I'm about two thousand. No, sorry, ten thousand feet above. So I don't think so. That's weird. Hey, it sounds like an overspeed warning, to be honest, but... You see all those multiplayer settings. All players. See the landings coming, here they come. Are we technically kind of destroying the data the uh, telescopes are collecting? Because the air is supposed to be, like, unpolluted and, like... Clear. Man, it's just some we're... chemtrails. All right, right. Chemtrails aren't real. No, they're one hundred percent real. You know, they're population like... control. Come on, dude. Yeah. <laughs> the moon is a myth, and the Earth is flat. Yeah. Do, like, do you not know this? Get above the observatory. Like this is why we're flying over the observatory to stop the government from feeding us lies. All right. Yep. And should we probably start descending uh, once we pass the observatory, right? Is that a good yeah. idea? Yeah. I just realized I've been playing with flaps this entire time. Oh yeah, I was doing that. Yeah, I was getting an overspeed alarm before because I'm overspeeding right now on purpose. And yeah, it was overspeed alarm when I wasn't overspeeding. Odd. Just a question. So like, do I have to turn on um, live traffic to all, to uh, live traffic? Because I'm not seeing Cable anyone. Tower, like, I turned the multiplayer one traffic one on to all and everything, but I only see one plane. Are you on the correct server? Because we're in USA West. That's a good thing to do. No. Thanks. Jesus Christ, whoever said that 787, Jesus. Probably me. What's your username? Yeah, uh, Kafu. Yep, see ya. Damn, you're going pretty low. Why don't you just loot out of my view? Oh, never mind. Oh, Jesus. Hi there. Red Hill, nice wing flex demonstration, loving it. You're welcome. It's even better when I put off. Oh my god. I just pitch down and see what happens. It only just flattens out. I love that Microsoft Flight Simulator wing, wing flex. They look so great. Unfortunately, there is a system on in the game where for some reason it doesn't allow you to pitch down as far as you can. Like, as you can see, the uh, the elevators are just stuck. Is a um, just flat instead of going all the way down. I think that might be like a fly by wire thing. Like, Airbus has that thing that you can't do, like, barrel rolls or something. This you is can, Boeing, like, disable though. It. Maybe they added it onto the 787, I'm not too sure, or it just might be a bugging game. Boeing is like, nah, we'll let's do acrobatic stunts. 
fact that Red Hill is about to pass 440 knots. You're gonna land? The Which one uh, are we gear don't landing? come out yet. The gear don't come out at this speed. I wanna drop the flaps and the spoilers. Nah, the spoiler should be like handbrakes on that thing. Alright. Well, it's like foggy in Hilo. I'm increasing in altitude, yet my nose is down. <laughs> this is how much. Have your do... flaps out? Yeah, the flaps do that much uh, lift. Yeah. <laughs> That's some good braking. I am seeing what appears to be a 787 coming down right in front of me. Indeed yeah, that's. Is. Yeah, Red Hill. It's not coming down, it's a controlled flight procedure. What do you mean? Same as a unplanned rapid disassembly of a rocket that has tips over. Hmm. Ooh, more more ideas. I have more ideas for uh, events. How about we have a virtual air show? Oh, that would be good. Okay, I would love that. Uh, we would ne we need some we need a way of having like implementing uh, in game smoke or something. Don't think that's possible with the uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Is no, it? we'll just we'll just set a few engines on fire and have some smoke there. Right. That would right, actually right. work quite well. Wouldn't it be black smoke? Yeah, no, it's it's white smoke. smoke. There's bows on coming in hot behind you. A320 just ran through the runway, multiple casualties on the field today. to hit someone because he's not moving out of the way. I'm not gonna lie, despite all the bugs in Microsoft Flight Simulator, the airlines look so hot. And the airliners, sorry. It's more eye candy than anything in this game, basically. Yeah. Oh, there's and the thunder. <laughs> Red Hill. What? Reverse thrust is there for a reason, and it's not this. <laughs> you know, you can do just just do shift P, right? There's pushback and then there's reverse thrust. One's part of the aircraft, one requires more effort. So I'm gonna yeah, just sure. do uh, this uh, pro gamer move. Honestly, the 787 is much larger than I ever thought it would be. It's so much larger than the uh, A320. Like the wing, one wing is the same as both wings on an A320. Alright, I'm gonna close my simulator. Hope everyone enjoyed the event. See ya then. Well, thanks for uh, settling up, man. I mean, I was gonna take a photo with all of you guys.
Yeah, I mean, you guys can still stand, it's just one person. Hopefully everyone uh, had a good time. Went, we went a little over, we went, I think, one hour, oh, we're actually right on target, hour 30 minutes. We started at one. Oh, great, man. Uh, if you have any questions, you can just DM me. If you have, like, suggestions for the next event, you can DM me as well. We need to do a landing challenge. Yeah, Guess sure. Guess what? The image is no longer happening since the game crashed. Uh, you know, if you have any suggestions, DM me. We can, we'll try and put something together for the near future. Sure. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys around. Thanks for everyone who set this thing up. Uh, thank you, thank you guys for participating.